Hey, welcome to the Windows channel. Well, I just did a video to explain why you should go to Windows 10. And now I have to, of course, do one why you might not want to or don't want to go to Windows 10 or should not go to Windows 10. Because there has to be reasons why you might not want to go to Windows 10. Um, one of the reasons, one of the first reasons why you might not want to go to Windows 10 is the fact that if you use Windows 7, and especially if you're using a Windows 7 from a computer that did not have Windows 7 at the start. For example, one of my laptops here is a Windows Vista machine that I upgraded to Windows 7. That laptop is like 10 years old. It's very old. And even though it's one of the first Core 2 machines that came out on the market, it might not have what it needs in hardware to be supported in Windows 10. That's one thing you have to look at. If your computer is a Windows XP or Windows Vista machine that was upgraded to Windows 7, one thing for sure is that even though you will have that little flag on the bottom right that will say get Windows 10, you might not want to do so because support might be a big problem with your computer. Another reason why you might not want to go to Windows 10 is, of course, of course very obviously, I do get a lot of people leaving comments that say, I don't like tiles, I don't like Windows 8, I don't want that those apps, I don't want the Windows Store, I don't like those things, and I'm just happy what I have. And that's fine, you are allowed to be happy with what you have. It's not something that you have to do. So, you know what, you can stay put to Windows 7, and enjoy your Windows 7 as it is simply like that. Another reason why you might not want to upgrade to Windows 10, if you use very unusual hardware or old hardware, say a your Windows 7 machine is running a 10 year old printer, well it is possible that already in Windows 8 it's not compatible and it's really really possible that it's not compatible in Windows 10. It's just too old. And you know, I get a lot of uh, these because uh, I do have, as a tech guy, a lot of clients that have old hardware. Stuff that's very unusual or very old for a simple reason. It does something that you cannot, you know, do today. Or simply because to buy the same type of hardware today is so expensive. You just want to keep that old hardware. Of course, that would be one of the obvious reasons why upgrading to Windows 10 is not such a good idea. Uh, old hardware is always and always have been a problem with Windows uh, operating system when you upgrade. So that's something that you might consider. Another thing that you might consider is the fact that you might be using special software for your business or for your everyday use, something that maybe is DOS based or maybe is like, you know, a Windows 98 remnant of some software or a Windows 2000 remnant that still works in Windows 7, well, there's a good chance it might not upgrade well to Windows 10. These are all reasons why it's not necessarily something you want to do. As you've seen, a lot of my example go with Windows 7 because I think Windows 7 users are the ones that are going to be um, really, really the most difficult updates and upgrades because there's such a wide ver variety of hardware and software that Windows 7 supports that, you know, doesn't work in Windows 8 and Windows 10. Uh, and that's a reason we have to, you know, understand that it's possible. And you know what, there's a very, really, very down-to-earth reason. I see a lot of people that have their Windows computer set up in a specific way and they're happy like that and they don't feel like they want to search for everything or change everything or you know upgrade to Windows 10 and find out that they have to you know use hours and hours of their time just to find 
how to set this, some of the settings back to how they liked Windows when they were on 7 or 8. So these are all reasons. And you know what? One of my machines I have here, for now, I, I'm not planning to upgrade it. It's a Windows tablet that has Windows 8.1 on it. And I'm actually so happy with Windows 8.1 on a touch device because it is fantastic. And I'm not that happy with Windows 10 touch features right now, meaning that it might actually stay on Windows 8.1 even after that date. So these are all details that make me think that maybe I don't want to go to Windows 10 on certain devices. I know that you know my own old Toshiba will not upgrade to Windows 10. I don't want to do so. Uh, maybe that Touch 8.1 machine will not. Of course, I'll upgrade others because I have other computers. So I'll be upgrading Windows 7 on other machines. I'll be upgrading Windows uh, 8.1 on this laptop that I'm using right now to Windows 10, that's for sure. So, um, you know, it depends on the use that you have, but there are some really good reasons why you just don't want to go to Windows 10 also. And you don't have to, frankly, even if you have the notifications, it's not something going to be pushed on you. It's something that you will have as an option available to you if you ever, ever want to. If you have any comments, questions about the upgrade process, about anything Windows 8, Windows 10, let us know. We'll try to help you if possible. And maybe you have your own reason why you don't want to upgrade to Windows 10. Why not share it with us? If you enjoy our videos, you can subscribe. You'll be, uh, of course, notified every time we have new videos online. And hopefully, you enjoy our videos and we'll come back.